You know, Anthony Davis is not going anywhere. He has a no-trade clause. We know LeBron James is not going anywhere. The person that they probably could move or should move is Russell Westbrook. I don't know if it's going to happen because of his contract. But here's the thing about the Lakers, okay. right? They're full of excuses, full of excuses. Well, you know, one minute is Frank Vogel. Frank Vogel been out. Fizdale been coaching. Now they're still losing. And here's the thing. LeBron, you my dog. I've been knowing you since the seventh grade. But that interview, that ain't it. That ain't it. For the simple fact that the whole league has been battling this whole situation for us, COVID protocols, injuries, or whatever the case may be. When I watch an Atlanta Hawks team off a of back-to-back, fresh off a loss against the Magic, go into Philly without their superstar and get a big-time win, I said, you know what? Anybody could do it. So when you get beat by 28 by the Spurs, that's a problem. That don't have nothing to do with chemistry. Now, what LeBron James should have said was, hey, man, we got to do a better job of getting back after a made basket because teams are scoring on us. Uh, Russell Westbrook got to do a better job of not leaving his feet when he's uh, trying to pass up, pass the ball because he keep getting turnovers. Or how about Carmelo Anthony? Hey, man, they're picking on you and picking rolls every time you're down on the floor. They're calling you up and they're going at you defensively. You got to be better. Hey, DeAndre Jordan, when are you going to do the defensive coverage right? We in drop, quit letting the guy get behind you for live dunks. That's the LeBron James that I want to hear in the interview talk and preach and call out his teammates and hold them accountable instead of saying things about chemistry issues when the entire NBA is going through it.